All right, guys, today I am replacing the clutch on an E39 540i six speed. Uh, if you don't know how to get to the point to where you can look at the clutch, please look at these other videos that goes before. We got one on how to lift your car up, how to get the exhaust off, and another one on how to remove said six speed. This is also the exact same process that you would go through removing the clutch from an E34 540 six speed. And then if you happen to have some other um, V8 swapped car, uh, BMW, this is what it's gonna be. They're all the same. So this engine is a M62 TU technical update. But like I said before, all the M60s and M62s are exactly the same. So we're gonna start by removing the six H6 bolts that are around it. Make sure when you're doing this, I definitely recommend an impact, but make sure you are fully seated and there is no junk in there holding you out slightly because when you round these, then you gotta like grind them off and then replace the bolt and it's just a pain. When you take the last one out, it's going to want to fall off. So just make sure Guess right, that, one doesn't. that one doesn't want to fall off. But be ready for it to fall. Um, then you just kind of want to pull it out a little bit. So I feel like this one is slightly seized. This is one of our friend's cars. And I know that it has been slipping for a while. So it has probably just gotten rather hot in there. So this is a factory clutch and flywheel pressure plate setup. Oh, oh, the clutch disc is just kind of falling out on its own. So, which means you have an unsprung clutch with the self-adjusting pressure plate and cut that one is one dowel pin. There we go. And a big dual mass flywheel. So there's definitely evidence of a lot of slipping. All that blue in there is all heat scoring. So in this situation, I would recommend replacing everything. A last tip with this for uninstall. If you're removing your flywheel um, with the dual mass, it's a Torx bolt but it's way in there so you can either buy the BMW specific one that has a narrow shank to fit in there it's a t60 or I'll be right back but you can make one like we did all right so this is the one that we modified um, so we just ground down the shank so that it would fit in and actually when I went to go find a disc for this car I found a whole um, pressure plate and flywheel assembly that I'm just gonna put on because it's less heat scored than his so they go in and they're all like kind of at an angle so they just like kind of get them in there till it locks in and these things are in there and you're definitely going to need an impact because if you're just using a ratchet you're just going to spin the engine so this is like we call it big bertha the big milwaukee one um, this one does it really well and also the bolts don't going on there the bolts don't actually come out of the flywheel because it's a, a dual mass it's two pieces so you just back them out and then just leave them in there so I got all the bolts loose you know you just kind of rock this back and forth it is rather heavy so get ready for when it comes all the way loose but that's how you remove one. The, uh, your flywheels will have one hole that is slightly bigger than the other ones. Usually it is lined up with a logo. That is because these have this teeth mark right here where there isn't. That's the timing mark because the crank position sensor is on the side of the bell housing and that's what makes your engine run. So make sure you line it up correctly. And this is some information that we found out. The 540, E39, and the M5 
run different flywheels. The timing mark is at a different place. So the flywheels are not interchangeable between a 540 and an M5. Even though dimensionally they are identical, that timing mark is in a different spot. Both cars will run, we've done it with both, um, but they will misfire badly because the timing is so far off. Oh, anyway, so now we're getting ready to put the flywheel on. This is that pin we're talking about. That's where you want to put big hole. Big hole. I'm going to put this on with an impact. I'm not recommending you do that. Below is the proper torque spec that you can do this. It is a little bit difficult to torque a flywheel though with a torque wrench because you end up spinning the, the whole engine over when you are tightening. So we've always just used an impact and we've never had a problem. Also people say put Loctite on them. Another good idea. We don't usually do that. All right, this is a clutch and alignment tool. This is a clutch. It splines into it somehow. Like so. Take in, goes in to the pilot bearing in the crankshaft. And it sits there. That one fits kind of loose, which is okay. Then you take your pressure plate and you line it up with your dowel pins. And you put it on. Now, this is the part with the clutch alignment tool. You want to align the clutch so that you can slip that in and out extremely easily. So that felt pretty good there. Other thing, we're going to impact these eight sixes back in. Something I don't highly recommend. And again, there's probably a torque spec for it. And I would get that. and I would torque them. But this is how we do it and it works for us, not condoning it to anybody else. All right, once that is all torqued down, make sure this still goes in and out extremely easily. And your clutch is aligned. So that is how you replace a clutch on an E39 540 or an E39 M5 or an E34 540. So thank you for watching and have a great day. If you'd like to look at other videos and how we remove the things, everything goes back on exactly the same way. So, and we do fun stuff here at the shop too. Lots of burnouts, lots of donuts, other things. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check out some of our other videos. Thank you.